me good morning you guys it is i think it's like the 26th of june y'all this summer is going by fast child so um girl i'm gonna make some phone calls here i'm just planning for the next week um hold on y'all it's early. I still get up early on the weekend. It's Saturday, but I mean, my body's used to getting up early, so I just go ahead and get up early. Did I do this right? Okay. Yeah. Um, I forgot to sign my baby up for his next level of swim lessons, but that's okay because there's still another another one he could do at the very end of summer. So, um, yeah. But y'all, yeah, yesterday, these kids. I am the fun house in the neighborhood because I talk to kids. I talk to your kids like I talk to my kid. I call them, if they fluffy, I call their asses fluffy. <laughs> now, I don't curse at them, I know we don't do that. But you know, I'm cursing curse because I'm talking to y'all but anyway I talked to the babies like I talked to my baby so Jamie thinks I'm funny right no filter so uh a couple of kids came over here yesterday and then um I asked them I said y'all want to put your feet in the water so they took turns putting their feet in the water and I pushed Jamie in the pool child why did I do that when I pushed him in the pool, another baby wanted me to push her in the pool. So I pushed her in the pool, and then another girl went to go change into her bathing suit. So I had four kids in this pool yesterday playing. Children bring so much joy, though. They really do, you guys. They are, they bring joy and pain. <laughs> but, you know, they had a good time. But then... It's so funny, they went, JB also went to camp with his little friend. And y'all, I'm telling you, I've been really on JB because he used to get, uh, he used to get a little bully, you know, with, I don't even want to say bully. Last year or the year before we was in school, he would, you know, almost fight like siblings with his friends. And one time, a couple of them did get up on him, but now my baby's big. He, he's big now, so now he really, so yesterday he told me that he had to rough up and chase down a 10 year old that was messing with his little friend. So I said, what happened baby? He said, well he took one of her toys and I chased after her and I told him to give it back and he just dropped it and ran off. I said, oh Lord child. So I told him, I said, you may, you may need to tell Taryn, that's the little girl y'all see sometimes in the video. I said, you need to tell her to start taking up for herself. I'm glad that you, you know, you roughing up these kids for her, but she needs to start taking up for herself. She's the one that's in school, y'all. So I thought that was so cute and funny. I mean, he went to go, he told her grandma what happened. And the grandma just, she had the craziest smile. Not the craziest, but she, I know that she wanted to burst out laughing, but she just had a smile on her face while she, cause he's so animated child. I don't know where he the hell he gets that from. <laughs> you remember how in my last vlog y'all was telling you how I was, girl, is this inside out? What the hell? Child, I was telling y'all how I was a bit nervous about <clears throat> having to cover the mortgage. And girl, Nezzy Angel, I get what you're saying. I, let me tell y'all something. I had to have a mindset of I'm broke on a whole different level. So I know what it means to be really broke, baby. And when I was in college, I remember <laughs> I was with my, um, I was dating my husband then. I remember I uh, borrowed his probe, girl. He had a white probe. We thought that car was the bomb. I went grocery shopping and my groceries failed and my milk bursted <clears throat> and I started crying because that's all the milk I could afford for two weeks, y'all, $3. I think my budget for groceries back then was $40 every two weeks. That's all I could afford, <clears throat> excuse me. So I know what it's like to like penny pinch and struggle like that and I never want to be in that position. So 
I have it in my mindset now, this is what I do. Broke to me is if I have less than $200 in my checking account. I know that's not really broke, but that's how I have to do it. So I know I'm giving y'all a little bit TMI, but <clears throat> Monday morning I get an email from my uh, company. It basically says that I've been, um, basically I'm getting another increase in pay due to market market rate increases. Basically when they, the company looks at people that have similar job titles and salaries and they notice that I'm underpaid and I'm like, Thank you, God. Now, I don't even know how much more I'm getting. I, I'm not, not going to say I don't care because I do care. All right, you guys. So we're going to be doing some homeschooling today, and we're back on the kick. Like I said, we want to continue with math and reading just so we know that he's strong in those areas. So this is a curriculum we use for math. It's called Christian Life Education. It's really good for children that have dyslexia, any type of learning disabilities like that. And you're CLE, Christian Light Education. Um, and then for reading, this is really, really good so far. We are doing um, all about reading. We are on level two. And, <coughs> excuse me, this is very hands on. <laughs> so today we're going to be reading um, a book that has comic or bubbles. So when you see a book or read a story that has bubbles that look like this, what does that Most, show you? Like, yeah actual bubble. like a like a, a speech bubble what does uh, it tell you i never ever ever knew that that they were called speech books. yeah so you often find them in comic books or comic strips so this is an activity we're going to do before we read Mom, i've never ever knew that yeah we're going to do this activity before we read the book which one it matches up. Now some of them that looks may, like a zigga jigga spot. Some of them may match up with several. So can you read this one? I want you to read it out loud, okay? I want you to read it out loud. I, I know what they say. I can fly my way in it. Okay. I want you to read them out loud for me though. Okay. Which one do you think can move fast? Which one do you think can run fast? Okay. What about this one? I have a plan. We can, <coughs> we can have a contest. We will. With, we will have a contest with you. No. We. I have a plan. We will have a contest. If, if you, you. If. If. If you and your pals win, win, you can have the ring. Oh my gosh, now what happens? Inside? Sometimes we see a triangle with three numbers inside. Like this. It oftentimes looks like this. Look. We can do multiplication once we get this foundation down. Absolutely, baby, okay? So do you remember this, yes or no, when we see the triangle? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Sure. So I wanted to go back and go over this so I can ensure that you really understand this, okay? So these are called related facts. So when you have three numbers, when you have three numbers, mm -mm, I can write, listen, can you pick that up? Y'all, you got to have the patience. You have to have the patience to homeschool, I will say that. You need to stay on course. We're doing related facts. We just did four for five, three, and two. Okay, you seem bored, so let's just go ahead and get into the workbook, okay? Guess what? Guess what? You're on the last one. <laughs> Y'all, these are the nails I've done. Aren't these cute? I did these last week. Very, very pretty. Um, I still have done these are just regular press on nails, but I did these. I think the next set I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one of these DC polishes polishes. I'll either want to do the blue or the orange. 
and again use one of the foils and I purchased these for this is trash in my opinion the way I did this it really is but what I did so that you can't see it's supposed to cover the entire nail see how you can see bits of the green come through but I use glitter to mask the problems hey Monica girl you still got a pooch don't worry about it my men like this pooch <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Girl, I was looking for this bracelet. <sighs> My girlfriend got me this bracelet. Y'all, let me show you this grill. We were supposed to have grill yesterday, right? Got this grill from Wayfair. And it's broke. It well, We couldn't put it together. Look at it. The instructions talking about you got to attach this to the bottom. But how in the heck can you do that from the inside when it has to be closed? We tried to do it. We spent about half a day on this thing. So I contacted Wayfair. Let me come into my room so I can show y'all what I purchased recently. My husband's like, why the heck are you buying? I know, I know, I know. I, I contacted Wayfair and I was like, look, I need another grill. Let me show y'all what I got. And they were like, oh, um, well... We'll send you a rip. No, no. I contacted Wayfair and said, this is not working. You know, what can we do? They sent me an email saying, oh, we've ordered you a replacement. I don't want no damn replacement, so I'm going to have to figure out. I'm going to have to take it apart. And, you know, uh, yeah. So, y'all, I got these two purses. Isn't this cute? I, cute? I needed another backpack purse, a functional purse, and I found this cute little bucket purse. Now, what I'm going to do... I need to look at my decluttering list is go through here at the top and go through all of the purses that I don't use or need and get rid of all of them donate them and a lot of work this is messy y'all a lot of work slacks and stuff who do who wear slacks anymore to work so I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this stuff okay y'all I just made a dent girl it's humid here I might as well get used to it huh made a dent bought five pairs of shoes um all these purses over here going away excuse me y'all I'm, I'm getting rid of stuff about five to six purses all these purses up here i still have um how can i honestly say one two three four my goal is not to get any more stuff uh, i do have some pieces from sheen coming in that just for summertime and just allows you around the house but not a lot of stuff i but if you consider that i will I think that the dresses from here on are all new. So I purchased about 15 new dresses on top of the sheen dresses. I bought 30 new dresses in the past two years. Um, the half of this is my dresses too. But that's it. Honestly, as a female, this isn't a lot of clothes. Let's just be real. Some of y'all have twice as much as this. And part probably stuff in your attic and basement. So I'm just trying to get rid of stuff, okay? You can't see me. Yeah. Did you see me? Yeah, I see your hands. Well. <laughs>